We're counting down the five most shocking mega projects redefining Mexico's place on the world stage. From oil refineries doubling down on fossil fuels to billion dollar trains cutting through ancient jungles, each entry reveals a new clash of ambition, controversy, and global rivalry. Some projects risk destroying UNESCO heritage. Others gamble against US and Chinese dominance, and one ended with billions sunk into a dream that was scrapped overnight. Which national gamble delivered the biggest shock to the world? And why are so many bets drawing outrage at home and abroad? Let's begin at number five, with the $12 billion refinery that puts Mexico's oil future on the line. In the fifth place, the Dos Bocas refinery stands as Mexico's $12 billion gamble on oil nationalism. Built on the storm-prone coast of Tabasco, this facility was supposed to deliver 340,000 barrels of refined fuel every day, enough to slash Mexico's dependence on U.S. gasoline and create more than 10,000 construction jobs. But the numbers tell a different story. Costs exploded from an $8 billion estimate to well over $12 billion. With construction plagued by technical delays, power outages, and repeated flooding, even after partial operations began in 2023, Dos Bocas never reached full capacity, running at less than 60% of its design. Environmental protests erupted as mangroves and wetlands were cleared, while Pemex's mounting debt raised alarms about the refinery's financial future. The Navy now oversees security, but the real threat may be economic. But economists warn this $12 billion fossil fuel bet could become a stranded asset as the world transitions to renewable energy, leaving Mexico's flagship refinery out of step with global trends. Number four, Tren Maya cuts a 1,525 kilometer path through the heart of the Yucatan Peninsula, longer than the distance from London to Rome. Planned as a $20 billion tourist railway, it was supposed to bring a million jobs and open up Maya ruins to the world. But the cost has tripled from its original $7.5 billion estimate, making it more expensive than the Panama Canal's last expansion. The engineering challenge is immense. Elevated tracks snake across jungle, wetlands, and hundreds of cenotes. Those ancient, water-filled caves sacred to Maya communities. Building over this fragile karst terrain has triggered cave collapses and altered groundwater flows, raising alarms among scientists and locals alike. UNESCO and archaeologists warn of irreversible destruction to World Heritage Sites, while environmentalists point to deforestation and the severing of jaguar migration corridors. More than 2,500 hectares of forest have been cleared, and wildlife crossings often miss the mark. Despite promises of consultation, Maya communities were never formally asked for consent, a violation of international law. The military now controls construction and operations, shielded from public scrutiny by presidential decree. Ridership is already running below projections, with high-end tourists slow to arrive and locals priced out. But UNESCO and environmentalists call it cultural and ecological vandalism that prioritizes tourism profits over Maya heritage. Number three, the Interoceanic Corridor is Mexico's boldest bid to rewrite the map of global trade. Stretching just 300 kilometers across the Tehuantepec Isthmus, this $5 billion rail and ports mega project promises a shortcut between the Pacific and Atlantic bypassing the Panama Canal's century-old grip on shipping. Two deep water ports, Salina Cruz and Coatzacoalcos, anchor the route, with a network of up to 14 industrial parks pitched as magnets for nearshoring giants. The stakes are enormous. Mexico surpassed China as America's top trading partner in 2024, with $466 billion in cross-border business and more than $200 billion in new investments announced. Officials claim half a million jobs could follow, and $50 billion in foreign capital is up for grabs. But here's where the numbers collide with reality. The corridor's maximum throughput, just 300,000 containers a year, is a fraction of Panama's 500 million tons. Even after the first Hyundai freight train rolled out in April 2025, only 8 of 14 industrial parks had secured contracts. 
and many sites still lack basic water or utilities. Hydrological studies warn of chronic water shortages for future factories, while the region's 60% indigenous population reports forced land sales and broken promises. Security is another shadow. Cartel-linked theft and extortion plague construction sites, with at least three major incidents hushed up by local authorities. But 300,000 containers annually can't compete with Panama's 500 million tons, exposing the gap between ambition and reality in Mexico's quest to become the Singapore of the Americas. Number 2. The Mexico – U.S. Passenger Rail Mega Network promises to redraw the map of continental travel. The vision is staggering. More than 3,000 kilometers of high-speed track, linking Mexico City through Querétaro and Guadalajara all the way to the Arizona border, plus a second corridor from Monterrey to Texas, and a third light rail connecting the new AIFA airport to Pachuca. If built, the system would stretch farther than the distance from California to New York, an audacious leap for a country long dependent on highways and short-haul flights. The estimated price tag? Over $10 billion, though experts warn that's a fraction of what such a network could actually cost. Construction did begin in April 2025 on the Mexico. Querétaro section, a 225-kilometer stretch through desert and mountains that will demand dozens of tunnels and bridges. Yet the larger project faces a wall of uncertainty. Financing remains incomplete, with only the first segment funded and the rest stuck in limbo. Political risk looms large. U.S. border integration is a non-starter for American lawmakers wary of migration surges, and any cross-border rail faces the threat of tariffs or shutdowns if Washington's mood shifts. Meanwhile, domestic airlines are lobbying hard to protect their market share and environmental reviews lag behind schedule. The dream is continental integration. Mexico as the North American rail leader, rivaling Europe's interconnected networks. But the dream of Mexico, U.S. rail integration, crashes against American migration politics and incomplete financing, leaving the grand vision stranded on the platform. And finally, in first place, the cancelled Texcoco Airport remains the most shocking chapter in Mexico's mega-project saga, a $13 billion aviation dream scrapped at the height of construction. Designed by Norman Foster to handle 120 million passengers a year, this was set to become the world's largest airport, built atop the ancient lake bed east of Mexico City. The engineering challenges were immense, floating runways stabilized by thousands of piles, water management systems to tame the shifting ground, and a hub-and-spoke terminal meant to vault Mexico City into the top tier of global air travel. By October 2018, nearly a third of the work was already done, with $5 billion spent and the skeleton of the terminal rising from the mud. But inside the presidential palace, a political storm was brewing. President López Obrador, fresh off his election, faced a divided cabinet. Finance officials warned of investor panic, legal suits, and a peso crash if the project was killed. Infrastructure advisors, echoing AMLO's mandate for a break with the past, pushed for cancellation as a symbol of national rebirth. In a dramatic overnight session, the decision was made, not for financial reasons, but to draw a line under decades of technocratic rule. The fallout was immediate. Mexico's currency plunged 8% in three days. International bondholders triggered arbitration clauses, and lawsuits from global construction giants flooded in. Emergency press conferences tried to calm markets, but the damage was done. The Texcoco site, once a beacon of ambition, was abandoned mid-construction. Concrete runways and terminal shells now sit half-flooded and decaying, a modern ruin visible from satellite images. To replace it, the government rushed to convert a distant military airbase, Santa Lucia, into the new Felipe Ángeles International Airport. Opened in 2022 under army control, the facility operates at just 3.5% of its intended capacity. Most airlines refuse to move, citing poor connections and limited slots. Meanwhile, Mexico City's main airport remains choked by congestion 
with delays and cancellations mounting as the capital's air traffic outgrows its infrastructure. The Texcoco cancellation now stands as a cautionary tale, a $5 billion sunk cost, a global record for infrastructure reversal, and a blow to investor confidence that still haunts Mexico's credit ratings. For supporters, it's a victory for sovereignty over foreign capital. For critics, it's the ultimate proof that political symbolism can't move planes or create prosperity. But the $5 billion cost of cancelling, plus a replacement airport airlines refuse to use, proves that political symbolism doesn't move planes. From a $12 billion oil refinery betting on yesterday's energy, to a 1,525-kilometer tourist train carving through ancient jungle, all the way to the world's most expensive airport abandoned at 30% completion, Mexico's mega-projects reveal a country in the midst of radical transformation and turmoil. Across all five entries, one pattern stands out. Ambition on a global scale, matched by explosive cost overruns, military control, and fierce conflicts over land, environment, and identity. Each project, whether challenging the Panama Canal with a new rail corridor, or dreaming of a 3,000-kilometer high-speed link to the U.S., tests the line between visionary progress and costly overreach. The shock isn't just in the billions spent or the records broken, but in how politics repeatedly trumps economics leaving unfinished dreams and divided communities. In the race to become a nearshoring powerhouse, Mexico's boldest builds show that mega-projects can remake a nation or become monuments to what might have been.